Hey everybody, and welcome back to the smoking section. I'm Sean, and tonight I'm going to be doing another live cigar review with a cigar that I have not even tried myself yet. I hear it is a beautiful stick, not heavy on the pepper. It's a great stick to wind up bringing to your morning routine with a cup of coffee or something along those lines, whatever you start your day off with. But nevertheless, I'm bringing it to the smoking section tonight. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be making sure that I do everything that I need to do when it comes to some lines that I'd like to go over. I'm going to be going over the cigar. I'm going to be catching up with chat, seeing how everybody's doing. But first and foremost, I don't know if any of you heard or if any of you have been by the smoking section on Facebook or on Instagram yet, but some big things happened over the weekend uh on saturday this past week um yeah i mean i'm not i'm not sure uh i'm not sure if you guys are ready for this or not but nevertheless i i just wanted to tell you guys that i am engaged uh i wound up doing a proposal to my girlfriend who is now my fiance jess uh we had an amazing time at the winery uh, I wound up popping the question there. I wound up putting some pictures on here as well. So if you'd like, I could show you guys those things right now. But there's one right there. I'm going to be doing this throughout the show right now um, just because I'm very, very proud of it. I'm very, very happy. Uh, but I wound up popping the question, and we had an amazing time. There's Jess with her new engagement ring on. And then we even wound up getting uh, Jess's dog, Max, involved with a photo shoot saying that he loved her first, which he did. But uh, it, was, it, was a, it was an absolutely awesome, awesome time. And I was so, so happy. It was a great time. I, I absolutely loved it. And here she is now checking in saying, I'm here, my love. And here's Jess now coming in. But uh, it, was, it was a really great time before... Um, before I get into any more of that real quick, I want to bring out the cigar that we are going to be doing tonight because that's the whole point of this video or this live. And tonight we are going to be doing the AVO Classic Number 2. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this cigar. Uh, not too heavy on the pepper. And it just seems like an absolutely beautiful cigar to bring to the show. Something a little different than what I'm used to. Uh, I usually like the full-bodied cigars of everything so i wind up bringing on something a little bit different and we already have dennis mcdonald checking in saying what's up brother what's going on dennis how are you feeling tonight my friend so i'm gonna go ahead and light this thing up before we continue our conversations and talking about the cigar and you know all that good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick little flame to the bottom real quick and get this thing started so how's everybody doing? Is everybody doing okay so far? I, I love being here on Wednesdays. I truly, truly do. I love catching up with everybody. I love seeing how everybody's doing and seeing how everybody's going, how their week is going so far. And if you weren't in here last week, uh, we had an amazing show in the smoking section. I wound up having uh, pr Protocol Cigars come on. Uh, Juan and Kevin came on for Protocol Cigars, and they surprised me with a big, big celebrity that I am fully just, uh, I love them all. But uh, Johnny Smokes was here as well, so I I'd like to give a big sh shout out to Protocol Cigars and Johnny Smokes for doing the smoking section with me last week. Um it, it was an absolutely great, great time. We had an awesome time together. We streamed for about, I streamed by myself for about 32 minutes, somewhere around there, 32, 34 minutes. Um, they were having some difficulties with trying to get their laptop set up. It, it needed to do a restart and all that good stuff. And then they finally came in. I redid the stream because the, the code wasn't working to get into StreamYard. So, um, you know, it, but it, we wound up streaming for like an hour and 40, hour and 45 minutes. It was an awesome, awesome time. We absolutely had a great, great time. And I just, it, it was, it was absolutely amazing for me. I, I loved it. Uh, 
Dennis McDonald is saying, and let me go ahead and bring this up real quick in case anybody else has the same question. Uh, do you like cutting your cigars or putting a ho- or putting in a hole? Um, and that was a great show. Well, thank you very much, Dennis. Um, you know, I, I, I have different things for different cigars. So for me, uh, I'm, I'm more of a traditionalist. I do enjoy doing a uh, straight cut on my cigars, uh, especially if I know that it's going to be, you know, a little bit of a tighter draw. Uh, for everything. Uh, so I will do a straight cut or uh, what I've been using lately is my V cut by Zycar, uh, which that's what I actually used tonight. So you can see there, I wound up doing a little V cut there as well. Um, but for like flavored cigars, such as like the fat bottom Betty or the sweet Jane or the acid line, uh, nine times out of 10, I'll actually punch those uh, because it has a sweet tip on the cigar. So I'd rather keep as much of the tip on there as it comes with. So that way I can still get a lot of that sweetness that it was intended to come with. So it, it was, uh, but for the most part, I wind up cutting my cigars. I'll either do a, a cat's cut or a V cut or a straight cut, which nine times out of 10, I'm usually doing a straight cut. Um, but lately I have been doing a V cut just because I really love my V cut and it's, it's one of my favorites. So <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately as well. Uh, Eric coming in saying, what's up, Sean? What's going on, Eric? How you doing, buddy? So um, if you're just joining me, uh, I don't know who all is in here right now. But uh, I made a big announcement already. And I don't know if anybody was there or not. But uh, this weekend, I wound up proposing to my girlfriend. Um, I wound up proposing to Jess. Uh, I put some pictures on here for you guys. Um, we wound up going to a winery. Uh, what's it called? Renault Winery in New Jersey. And uh, got all nice and dapper, nice and nice and spiffy. There's Jess uh, wearing her engagement ring. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we wound up getting uh, Jess's dog, Max, involved with it as well. And he uh, has a little sign on there saying, I loved her first, uh, which he did. But uh, he let me share, and now it's you know it's the next step in our in our life together. So uh, I was very very happy about that, very very excited about that. Uh, Eric saying I have uh, some special cigars for you tomorrow night. Well, I can't wait, Eric. Honestly, I can't. Um, so we're getting a small group together just to kind of celebrate the engagement. We're going to be going to my place of business, the Smoking Dog, and uh, going to kick back with some cigars and just have a nice time and just kind of celebrate a little bit. But uh, tonight is all about the AVO Classic Number Two, and you know I got to be honest with you. Uh, so far, just off the first couple of puffs that I wound up taking off of it, uh, very very smooth cigar. Uh, there, there's a lot of cream in there, some cocoa. Uh, even like a little bit of like a cedary taste that's in there as well. I'm starting to learn more on kind of how to differentiate between the woods. Uh, I, I definitely noticed that there's a lot more cedar in some cigars and there would be like an oak uh, kind of taste in them. But, you know, I'm, I'm starting to learn how to differentiate between those. And it's just a very, very smooth cigar. I'll be honest with you, there's not a lot of pepper to these cigars. So I can definitely see why they would say that this would be more of a breakfast cigar. Um, but you can see it has a beautiful, beautiful label on it. Uh, just a lot of gold in there, a little bit of black and some cream or some white in there as well. But it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. Um, I really like the way that this one looks. But, you know, I was really happy to get back onto the stream. Uh, after having such a great stream last week, I was very, very excited about jumping in here this week. Um, actually, after doing the, the show last week with Protocol Cigars, Juan and Kevin, and then having Johnny Smokes on here, uh, it, it does feel a little bit lonely in here, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, but I am working on getting uh, some more guests into the smoking section. Um, I'm working on some some different people that I would, I would like to bring in here, uh, not necessarily for uh, cigars themselves, you know, a brand or whatnot, but just some individual people that have been making names for themselves and, you know, going out and doing their thing that I would like to have here just to kind of get some feedback on, you know, how they got started, what, you know, what they're going for, um, you know, what they look for in certain things. So, I mean, it's, it, it, 
for me, the smoking section is about just bringing people together, uh, whether that be, you know, a cigar brand or just another cigar lover or whatever the case may be. Uh, that's that's my plan is to just, you know, bring some different people on here. It's not going to be all cigar brands all the time. It's just going to be, you know, anybody who smokes cigars, really. You know, it could be somebody as plain as you and me or it could be somebody that's, you know, got, you know, 10,000 followers and, you know, they, they do little cigar reviews themselves. So, um that's kind of the plan and the direction that I'm going for in the smoking section as well. So, um, but yeah, I mean, right now, I, uh, like I said, as, as much as I feel a little bit lonely now that it's quiet and I don't have too many people to talk to, um, when it comes to on screen, I'm not saying chat, I'm saying on screen. Um, it, it's a little weird now cause it, it'd be awesome if we wound up having somebody every week. Um, but right now just kind of starting out, you know, it gives me time to build up to that. So, and tonight, I am pairing this with a Jack Daniels uh, Berry Punch, which very refreshing drink. And now that the weather is starting to get more into like the 50s and 60s, um, I know yesterday was in the 20s with a high wind chill. But now that we're starting to get into some spring weather, I start breaking out some cold drinks um, and really kind of start pushing pushing for that because it's, it's nice to sit down with a cigar and a beverage after work. Um, I, I do love that indeed. So for the cigar uh, that we're dealing with tonight, this is a Ecuador, Connecticut wrap with a Dominican Republic uh, binder and filler. Um, but it's it's not like your typical you know Dominican tobacco where it has that you know a lot of that pepper in it. It's very very smooth. Um, has just a nice nice flavor profile to it. Um, it's just a very easygoing smoke. I should I, I read that it, it's really good with a cup of coffee, and I should have had a cup of coffee tonight with it just to kind of see how it paired. But, you know, I was kind of in the mood for something cool, um, something with a little bit of an edge to it, I guess you'd say, uh, after the day that I had at work. But um, it, was a, it was an awesome, awesome, you know, cigar to bring onto the, to the channel, and I was really, really excited about smoking it. So I figured, why not? I, I've been, it's been eyeing me up since every time I opened up my, my – uh, humidor over here and i just figured you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna wind up smoking this one because it, it looked it looked delicious to me and with everything that i read about it it just seemed like a very easy going smoke so i figured that'd be another cigar to wind up bringing to the table um but even on like the nasal exhale the the retro hail um there's not a lot of pepper, if any at all, uh, to be honest with you. It's a very, very easygoing cigar. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying this cigar to the best of my ability right now. And I mean, I've only, I've not even gotten past the first third yet, and it's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful cigar. Um, but hey, you know what? It, it was something different, and you know, I have a whole. You guys probably saw the reveal that I did from uh, Leaf Cigar Bar. I have a whole arsenal of different cigars I'll be bringing onto the channel, each of them as different as the next, but just as beautiful with a lot to offer. So, ooh, excuse me. But it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm going to see where this thing takes me. So one of the things that I wanted to try and um, I wanted to try and go over tonight. Uh, so I have a schedule. Um, I posted the schedule on the Instagram page and on uh, the Facebook page as well. And I want to try and stick to this schedule because I feel like the schedule is going to work out pretty well for me. I will leave a, I'll leave a link in the description uh, to the Facebook page like I do for all my videos. Um, but so as it stands right now, the schedule that I would like to try and start kind of following, um, when it comes to the smoking section would be, I, uh, I don't know what's up with my camera. There we go. Um, so for me, this, the schedule that I'd like to start bringing into it is, uh, for Mondays, it's going to be a, uh, cigar review during the mini series. That's when I don't go live. Um, I wind up doing a recording, I do cuts, and you guys only see about 15 minutes of a hour and a half long cigar, and I will be posting that on uh, YouTube as well. Um, 
Wednesdays. Of course, today's Wednesday, so I like doing my live cigar reviews. Uh, I get caught up with the chat. I answer questions. I go over a cigar while, you know, we just kind of chit chat and talk. Um, Friday mornings, anywhere between eight and nine, sometimes a little bit later, depending on if I have a lot going on or not. But uh, Friday mornings are going to be uh, morning cigar talks where I, you know, the morning cigar talks for me were more along the lines of just a way to reach out to the community of um, the smoking section or anybody. Um, you know, waking up in the morning, I would light up a Tuscanello, drink a cup of coffee, and just kind of talk, um, ask some questions that, you know, I would want anybody to answer in the comment section below if they wanted to or not. And, uh, you know, it was just a way for me to kind of, you know, interact with people. You know, what did you guys want to see on the shows? What do you guys want me to bring to the channel? Um, you guys like the channel, you know, and just find out certain questions about things, you know, just, you know, when do you guys like to smoke cigars? How do you guys like to smoke cigars? Do you guys cut, you know, just like, you know, Dennis asked, you know, about, do I like cutting my cigars or punching a hole in it? Um, doing a punch for him, you know, just certain questions like that, that, you know, I could ask during these live streams and, you know, not everybody feels comfortable with answering these questions. Um, you know, everybody kind of has their own way of doing things. So I figured, you know, doing the morning cigar talks kind of, A, kicked the weekend off right, but then also kind of got everybody included in the, you know, in the smoking section, whether it be just answering questions or, you know, just kind of hanging out, watching it questions that might make you think a little bit that was just kind of the plan for the morning cigar talks um and then of course friday after that i will be doing uh the back to the basics cigar uh talk as well where basically we're going to be going over everything um as i said before and i mean i guess i can i can wait uh, i have a whole packet of different things that i want to bring on uh when it comes to uh the different types of leafs the different uh, types of cigars when it comes to uh, the wrap, whether it's a Connecticut, a Maduro, a Candela, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, I'm going to be bringing all these things to the channel for either the beginners that are just starting out and want to start learning some things about cigars or people that, you know, have been smoking cigars for years and just kind of, you know, never knew those things. You know, I think the last video that I wound up doing was a bunch of definitions, um, you know, just some different cigar talk, some different cigar slang, uh, such as like the coffin, which is a small box that a cigar can sit in uh, for packaging. It usually only holds one cigar, you know, just different things like that. The head, the foot, the barrel slash body, you know, all those different things. Um, you know, I wanted to bring that to the channel because, you know, it, it's easy for people to kind of just talk about that. You might be watching a, a cigar show like this. And somebody says, you know, look at look at the barrel of this cigar. And you could think like, okay, well, does he mean the body? Does he mean, you know, what's in the barrel? What's in the body? You know, what's going on? And, you know, it's just different things that kind of get people more interested in cigars. And, you know, right now during COVID, I figured, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are starting to smoke cigars for a hobby. And I figured that that would be something nice, you know, to bring to them that they can start kind of learning a little bit while they are, you know, enjoying this new hobby that they're picking up. So as of right now, that's going to be the schedule for the smoking section. Um, you know, I think that it's kind of important to, you know, bring this up during one of these lives uh, just for the sheer fact of it's more than just me smoking cigars and, you know, expecting everybody to watch or expecting everybody to take my, uh, you know, opinion about the cigar. Um, I wanted to bring more to the channel than just that. And I have other plans in the works, you know, for different things that we're going to be doing here on the channel. But for right now, I felt like those, those four things were like a good combination of a little bit of everything. Um, so, you know, I, I figured that that would be something that I could start getting into uh, to bring that to the channel. So that way it's not just, you know, smoking cigars, but talking cigars as well. Because what else do you do at a smoking lounge or in a smoking section? You wind up doing a little bit of talking of, you know, how you got started, who you meet, who you do this, and then, you know, talking about cigars as well. So I'm kind of trying to bring a whole, what do you call it, a, uh, the smoking experience to the smoking section.
So that's basically kind of the idea behind that. So I figured I'd get that out there now um, just to kind of keep everybody in the loop that I do have a plan, that I do have a direction in which I am going. So in case anybody thought that I was just going at this willy-nilly and just kind of doing whatever I wanted, uh, there is a plan. It's just sometimes between work and life, that plan might get switched around a little bit. But for right now, that's the schedule that we're going to be doing and dealing with for now. So... But as of right now, what I'm doing is the Wednesday night live cigar review. And for me, I'm reviewing the AVO Classic Number 2, which is a very, very smooth, smooth cigar. And, you know, I'm absolutely loving this cigar. It's burning so evenly. I mean, that's almost, I mean, well, I guess not that spot. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty damn close to dead nuts even all the way around. It's not canoeing. It has a very even draw uh, throughout the whole thing. Now, I did wind up doing a cat's eye cut or a V cut on the cigar because um, I wanted it to last a little bit. I did hear that it's a very easy going cigar, so I didn't know if they meant easy as in flavor profile or easy as in um, very loose when it comes to how, how tight the cigar, how aerated the cigar is. But uh, the cigar is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a very easygoing cigar. It's got a lot of cream within it, um, some cocoa, some hints of cedar in it as well. The pepper is is almost, it's the complete opposite of everything that you normally would smoke in a, in a cigar when it comes to something that even involves pepper. Um, usually a cigar that has pepper in it will, is going to either be fully there, you know, right off the bat, or it's going to ease itself into it. Uh, never have I really had a cigar that kind of has pepper that's more of the undertone versus the other things that I have in this cigar that are usually the undertone and the pepper is very in your face. So um, Ted Urbanski is saying, hey, Sean, like the approach as far as I'm learning. Well, I, I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. And Terry Monroe checking in saying, hey, Ted. Uh, Eric says, I noticed you do V cuts on most of your cigars, is that your most common cut? Um, you know what? Honestly, you know, uh, Dennis asked me this as well. Um, for the longest time, I was doing a straight cut on my cigars. Uh, this is one of my favorite cutters. Uh, it was my favorite cutter for straight cuts until Dennis uh, McDonald and his wife wound up getting me a straight cut that has oh god that's shiny has my name on it and the smoking section which is down here uh, underneath my middle finger um this is now my new favorite straight cut and i have that right here next to my desk so that way i always have the finley's boutique right next to me um but you know ever since i wound up getting my zycar v cut for my cigars um i guess just because it goes with my lighter it's what i use a lot um and i'm not saying this to be to be mean or anything but i kind of noticed that the more that i use this the more i see everybody using it i believe david boutwell wind, wound up buying one um uh, cory reinhardt wound up buying three three different types he wound up getting the brass colored one that i have a matte black or a silver and then a black one um, so, I mean, I've, I'm starting to see them everywhere. Um, they are beautiful, beautiful cuts. And, you know, honestly, I just, I really wanted to, you know, kind of, I want to switch it up every now and then. Now for Monday, when I wound up doing, uh, the size cigar review, uh, that was a torpedo. So I wound up doing a straight cut on that cigar, uh, just because I didn't want to try and, you know, only have like a little tiny bit of space in there from the V cut, trying to cut that cigar. So, um, I wound up doing a straight cut on that, but I think everybody pretty much uses a straight cut on a torpedo, I believe. Uh, I mean, I might be wrong. I mean, I don't know if you can punch a torpedo. Um, I've I've V-cut a torpedo before, uh, but I wound up opening it up later uh, just because it was a very, very hard draw as I kind of got halfway through it because the hole was, you know, a little smaller uh, than a normal V-cut. But uh, for the most part, I always do a straight cut on a torpedo. I do punch on like the the flavor tipped cigars, such as the Fat Bottom Betty, the Sweet Jane, or the the yeah the Sweet Jane, and then um, I'll do a V cut and straight cut just on everything else. Um, so you know that's kind of where I I land with a lot of my cuts for cigars.
but um but yeah you know I'm, I'm i'm very very excited about the schedule that i have set um you know between you know i would love to have more time to put out more videos to be honest with you um if i could do this full time i i would love to um somebody actually suggested and this was a suggestion from instagram about doing a patreon uh account um for you know if you wanted to support what i do and try and help with you know me collecting cigars uh to bring to the channel um going that route and you know i kind of thought about it a little bit about maybe doing a patreon you know page i guess um to see if anybody would donate to see if i could try and bring more on but you know i, I just i kind of like doing what i'm doing right now you know I, I i like feeling like this isn't a job that this is more of a hobby um it's a lifestyle for me it's not like i'm gonna sit here and try and get rich off of this or you know do a full-time job of this um so i don't know i, I kind of thought about it a little bit here and there but i don't know i guess maybe later in the line we'll see where it goes But as of right now, I'm just happy doing what I'm doing. Um, I like talking to the community. I like, you know, being in the community. Um, and I just really enjoy smoking cigars, especially a great cigar such as this. And if you guys didn't know, if you look right down here, uh, that is the cigar that we are smoking tonight. It's the AVO Classic Number no. 2. Um Beautiful, beautiful cigar. I, I honestly got to say, it's a it's a very easy going cigar, which I'm very impressed with. Uh, the construction of the cigar is absolutely perfect so far. I mean, it's not cracking, it's not falling apart. Uh, one thing I will say is trying to smoke this while in front of a computer and not get ash all over your keyboard is a little bit of a challenge right now. That's why I keep knocking the ash off because it is very flaky. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful stick, and I'm absolutely loving it so far. And now I got Peace, Love, and Guns checking in saying, what's up, Sean? What's going on, Peace, Love? How you doing, brother? So um, now, that, uh, now that we kind of have some people in here, and this will be my last time, I promise. So if you're watching this later down the line and you're going to say, is he going to do this every, like, 15 minutes or so? No, I promise I'm not, but I'm very, very excited about this. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I wound up proposing to my girlfriend on Saturday. That is me and Jess at uh, Renault Winery. Um, I wound up proposing. She did say yes, so that was awesome. That is Jess with the ring on her finger, and it was a very, very beautiful, beautiful time. And then, of course, we got her dog, Max, involved in it as well, saying I loved her first, which he did. Um, but it was it was an awesome, awesome time. And I promise that's the last time I'm going to bring it up. I was just very, very happy uh, with how this past weekend went. Um, I've had this plan for a couple of weeks now of proposing to Jess, and it finally came to. And uh, it, was, it was awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, I have... One of the greats in here right now. I have John Reamer in here. Mr. Johnny smokes himself saying, what's up, brother? What's going on, Johnny? How are you, dude? Love to see you here, brother. Thank you so much, so, so much for being in here with me. Uh, uh, and now you got me starstruck again. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so, so Johnny smokes. He was with us in the smoking section last week uh i uh, now i feel like I, i've lost everything again see johnny you did it to me again dude you did it to me again uh johnny smokes is is an awesome awesome guy if you don't already follow his page or if you're if you're looking for another cigar group to go to please check out johnny smokes uh on or johnny smokes uncut on facebook uh johnny's actually dropping his very first cigar this month uh, it's going to be called the J train and it's by protocol cigars as well. Um, I, dude, I cannot tell you how happy I am to have you in here. I'm actually going to be seeing Johnny smokes at the cigar lounge that he's going to be dropping this beautiful looking cigar. I've been sharing all of his posts, 
uh, letting everybody know that uh, it's coming. The, the J train is coming. And uh, I cannot wait to pick up a bundle of these. And there's only going to be 200 bundles made. Um, and I'm going to be there. I'm going to probably get there probably at like 1 o'clock and wait and camp out for like two to three hours just so that way I can get in there and meet Mr. Johnny Smokes. But uh, he was on, he was in the smoking section last week with Protocol Cigars. Uh, Johnny runs his own Facebook page. He's in over 100 other Facebook pages that he's members on. Uh, he's an awesome guy. He's probably one of the people that I look up to the most when it comes to uh, doing cigar reviews and you know getting in with the community. Uh, he's just an awesome, awesome guy, and now he's in my my chat, and it just blows me away. So, Johnny, thank you so much for coming out here tonight, brother. I appreciate it, and uh, I hope I did. I hope I did you justice with the J Train, man. I hope you do. I hope I did, because uh, I'm I'm so excited about checking out the J Train, and I cannot wait to smoke it. And uh, it's going to be an awesome, awesome time. But uh, tonight, I'm actually I'm smoking, as you can see right below me here, uh, the AVO Classic Number Two. And, um, you know, it, it, it's an awesome, awesome cigar. It's very, very smooth, very, very creamy. It's got some chocolate notes, some cedar, and the pepper is just a, a undertone to all of it. And it's an awesome, awesome cigar. Um, but no, Johnny, Johnny, you are awesome, brother. You are the awesome one, man. I'm telling you, you are great. And, you know, like I said, if, if any of you, you know, can can get the chance to do it, please go check out Johnny Smokes Uncut on Facebook. Johnny, if you don't mind posting that link, uh, in the comments. So that way, anybody who wants to join Johnny smokes uncut, uh, can do so. Um, I will be doing, I will leave a link in the description to Johnny smokes uncut in this video. So if you're watching this video later and you're like, Oh crap, I didn't get to see the comment that had Johnny smokes web address in it. Don't worry. I got you covered. I'm going to be putting it in the comment section of this video. So you can check it out. You can go join up with Johnny smokes. Um, He's got so much energy. I love his energy. I love his passion. Uh, he's all over the place. He, he works with, you know, CI, Cigars International, um, you know, a bunch of different other cigar. Uh, and see, I'm losing everything now because he's in my chat, so I know I'm going to mess it up. Uh, he, he works with a lot of different cigar groups. Uh, on Facebook and out of Facebook, such as uh, Cigars International, uh, some other cigar stores that he is very, very loyal to, and he is just an awesome, awesome guy. Uh, I can't say enough good things about him. Johnny Johnny Smokes is one of the greats, and I'm just glad that he's here. But as I continue puffing on this AVO, I got to tell you, the amount of smoke that this thing is producing is is very very impressive. I, I absolutely love this cigar, and I have David Batwell checking in saying, "What's up, ladies and germs? Hope you guys know that's all of you guys, not me. I'm King Germ. So, um, what's going on, David? How are you doing tonight, brother? Uh, I just, I, you know, I, I gotta say, I, I am so so lucky." Um, to have this beautiful cigar community that, that is in here right now. Um, I've made so many friends while doing this. I've met so many awesome people while doing this. And as I said, I don't do this for the fame. I don't do this for free cigars. Uh, you know, when I wound up doing the uh, size cigar review, uh, one of the members of the smoking section via Instagram he wound up donating those cigars to me, said, you know, give them a try. If you like them, go for it. If not, you know, uh, at least you tried it. And, you know, Psy Premium Cigars are, are absolutely awesome, awesome cigars. And, um, you know, I I was so happy that, you know, he, he reached out to me and was like, I really like what you do. So, you know, try these out. Let me know what you feel. And it was awesome. I got somebody checking in saying, hey, broskies, how was your day? Day was day was the day was long. Uh, I'll put it to you that way. The day was quite quite long. Uh, I'm trying to do some things at work. Uh, I gained a couple titles at work. Uh, when it came to, um, I'm now a you know I'm l not learning, but I'm kind of getting into the process of being a safety coordinator, and I'm going to be doing the forklift uh, tests as well for anybody who hasn't driven a forklift before. Um, I'll be giving them the test. So it's it's been. Between doing that plus maintenance and, you know, trying to, you know, 
keep on top of this. It's been it's been a little struggle, but I'm here on Wednesdays. I'm here on Wednesdays every Wednesday unless I work late. But other than that, I'm, I'm here every Wednesday, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and smoke-driven. So just happy to be here. But how was your day, man? Hope every how was everybody's week so far? Was everybody having a good week? I mean, it's hump day. I mean, my hump day was technically yesterday. Today's my Thursday. Tomorrow's my Friday. So um, how's everybody's week going so far, though? I hope everybody's having a good week. I hope everybody's staying safe. You know, I, I really do hope that everybody is staying safe. So and um, checking in saying, nice, man, congrats. Well, I don't know if it's a congratulations thing. I mean, I guess it's job security, which I'm completely fine with. But um, it does put a little bit more meat and potatoes on my plate. So I just got to worry about trying to swallow that down, I guess you'd say. But it, you know what? I'm in it to win it. You know what I mean? And it's a win. So I'm, I'm here to do what I got to do, you know? Eric's saying it's been a long week. Lots of overtime this week. Hey, you know what? I've been dying for some overtime. Uh, I, I love overtime checks. Those overtime checks are absolutely beautiful. They help fuel this right here. <laughs> you know, I, I got to say that. Uh, checking in saying, uh, good Everything is regular here. We are moving into a bigger and better store in a month or two. Nice, man. Congratulations. Hopefully it's uh it'll work out, man. And like I said, bigger store means, you know, more customers, more people, you know, maybe a um little promotion in there as well, possibly. Hmm? Eric throwing up some money. And let me tell you, it's it's beautiful when you when you when you're working overtime, and you're tired, but you're like, you know what? This is all worth it. And now, I mean, I have a wedding to play in for. So, I mean, I got to start stacking bills. I mean, I've been stacking for a little while now, but I mean, I got to really start stacking some bills. I want this girl to have a beautiful wedding, whatever she wants. That's that's what we're going for. So, I, uh, I really got to get some overtime in. And hopefully we get some contracts in here and I wind up uh, working some overtime. Um, well, that means I'll have to probably pre-record my... Friday morning cigar talks and some other things, but that's fine. I'll make some money and pre-record them. So, uh, spent six months. Uh, spent six months of building a new smoke shop, three hundred square foot humidor, compared to our current ninety square foot. Holy cow! That's going to be a big humidor. I mean, no joke. Three hundred square foot. That's going to be big. That means you guys are going to have a lot of cigars to, to introduce to everybody. Hopefully, get some rare stuff in there, too. It's traditional that her family uh, sorts the wedding. Thank God. Uh, well, you know what? Um, I am a traditionalist, but, you know, I figured, you know, it is our day. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I wanted to talk to her dad and, you know, kind of say like, Hey, you know, I want to help with this. So anything that you need, um, I want to, uh, I want to try and help out with that. Uh, I just, I feel like it's, just, it's only right. You know, I, I work for a living, you know, it's not like I'm, you know, coming out of college and need somebody to do it for me. And then I'll, I'll pay back later or whatever. I I'm working now, so I might as well do it, you know? And, um, uh, I'll just go from there. Peace, love, and guns saying, uh, take the money you would spend on a wedding and buy property. You know, um, the nice thing about me and Jess, uh, we don't want a big, big wedding. Uh, we don't want something huge. We don't need like chocolate fountains with angels that dip your uh, marshmallows in them and, you know, a crazy horse and carriage buggy ride through the hillsides of Tennessee. And we're not, we're not doing any of that. We're just going to be, you know, it's going to be nice. Uh, short, sweet, to the point, and that's all we really kind of cared about. Um, so we're, we're, we're not going big. I will be buying a house somewhat soon, I hope. Um, and then uh, I'll have to find a new smoking section room. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be nice. You know, um, we're, we're working things out right now. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting close, you know. It's crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. It's crunch time. Um, 
I believe Scott Seeley said it's a massive, it's a massive functional burden. I just got married last summer. And then peace, love and gun saying, if I ever get married, I'd be, it'd be a dance party in the barn or in the woods or something. Yeah. You know what? Um, for both of you, you know, it's, uh, it can be, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just teasing Jess. No, I mean, you know what? It's, um, uh, for us, you know, we, she knows where I stand. You know, she knows that I, you know, I'm very, I'm very big into my faith. You know, uh, we'll probably get married at a church. Um, you know, the church that I go to is a non-denominational church. So it's just, it's, it's just about the Lord and that's it. Um, so for me, uh, you know, getting married in a church and then just having something small afterwards is, is right up our alley. Um, and she's very supportive of that. And of course, you know, anything she wants, I would, I would do for her in a heartbeat. And the way I see it is, you know what, I'd rather, I'd rather spend a little bit on the day to make her happy. And, uh, Somebody checking in saying, hola, from Punta Cana. Must be nice. Never been to Punta Cana. I don't know if I'd want to go. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe if they had a really nice cigar bar there, I'd go to Punta Cana. But uh, welcome. And uh, hola back from the United States of America. But uh, but you know what? It, it's, it's all going to be nice. And uh, – For me, her happiness means more to me than anything. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what needs to be done, and and do what we got to do, and then uh, we will be, you know, on our way to a life well lived together. So I'm very very excited about that. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's been it's been an awesome awesome time. It's been an awesome ride. Um, like I said, you know, in case you guys missed a couple of pictures, we wound up. Uh, I proposed. So if you're just dropping in, this is what I'm talking about. I wound up getting proposed over the weekend. Uh, there's my beautiful fiance, Jess and her ring. And then, uh, you know, just a couple pictures of the whole process anyway. But, um, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been a really nice ride and I'm really, really, really happy about it. So it's been, it's been great. Um, Puna and my, and you know, my father is saying Punta Cana is great. He's been there twice. Yes, I know. I stayed behind both times. Um, we have many cigar bars here in Punta Cana. Well, I will definitely have to try and stop out to Punta Cana then. At least for at least for a at least for a couple cigars anyway. Uh, it'll be beautiful. It'll be beautiful no matter what, love. And that must be my my lovely bride to be, Jessica. And um, I got badass George checking in. So what's going on, badass George? How you feeling, brother? Went to Don Lucas Cigars. Okay. Well, I'll definitely have to check it out then. Um, you know, I'm always down for, you know, checking out a, a cigar shop. I'm actually, like I said, with Johnny Smokes, I'm going to be going to Johnny Smokes uh, Cigar Drop. They invited me to come out. I'm going to be going out to, to that for the J train from protocol cigars and Johnny smokes. And, um, you know, it'll be, it'll be a really, really nice time. And, uh, I really, really cannot wait for that to, for that to go down. But, uh, for those of you that are just joining me, uh, I am smoking the AVO classic number two. Um, I'm a little past halfway right now. And I got to tell you guys, this is an awesome, awesome cigar. Um, so I don't know if I have many people that wind up doing a cigar in the morning with a cup of coffee or, you know, just start their day off right. But um, it's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. Uh, will go great with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. It's very clean. It's very easygoing. There's not a lot of pepper that comes to it. Um, it, it's, it has a nice hint of cream, some cocoa, a little bit of cedar in there, Um and the pepper is just an undertone, which I find to be very, very nice. I love that the pepper is still there, but it's not in your face like a traditional cigar that's maybe a uh, mild to medium cigar. And uh, it, it's just an absolute joy to smoke right now, and I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm thinking for the next cigar review i have a lot of cigars still from um 
my trip to Leaf Cigar Bar. So the next cigar review, I'm going to do a poll on what the next cigar review should be. Uh, I'm going to do a small video uh, right before, probably like on Tuesday, maybe on asking, I'm going to give maybe like a five, you know, five choice of a, you know, of some cigars. And I want to see what everybody, you know, kind of comes up with together. Um, so the way I'm going to work this is I'm going to have a video of the five choices that I want to smoke. And on YouTube, you can check it out and you can comment in the comment section below. And on Facebook, it's going to be a poll where you can obviously, you know, choose A, B, C, or D, or E, or whatever. And I'll tally it all up and that'll be the cigar that I'm smoking. So uh, I'm thinking about doing that for the next one because, you know, I, not that I don't like choosing, but with so many cigars to choose from, I'd rather somebody, you know, kind of take a look and be like, oh, that one looks pretty interesting. And, or I've never seen that one before, or, you know, let's do that one or, you know, whatever. So it's kind of like a group participation kind of thing, I guess you'd call it, you know, where I'm going to give you five choices. And if you want, you can pick five. And even if one cigar gets voted on, then guess what? That's the cigar that I'll be smoking. So um, we'll go from there. But that'll be next Wednesday for the live cigar review. So but all in all, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm I'm really enjoying this cigar. Um, you know, I've got a little bit left to go here. And I still have to upload this video and kind of, you know, get everything all set up for tomorrow for work. So uh, I'm probably going to finish this thing up. But, you know, for me, um, giving the cigar a rating, uh, you know, I'm going to give it, you know, a four point, probably a four point six out of five stars. It is a beautifully clean cigar. Um, the draw is perfect. It's not too airy. It's not too tight. It's just right. Um the flavor profile is very, very clean. Like I said, there's some cream, uh, some some chocolate hints, uh, you know, some chocolate notes in there, some cedar, and the pepper is a beautiful, beautiful underline um, to kind of bring it all together. And it's just an absolutely beautiful cigar. Um, so I'm probably going to, you know, finish this thing up. I'm going to get everything set up, get myself ready for work tomorrow because tomorrow's my Friday and, um, you know, we're going to go from there, but I just, I want to thank everybody. And, and, you know, for me, I, I usually try to finish a cigar. Uh, the last couple of lives that I wound up doing, you know, I, I still have some cigar left. Um, so basically if this is your first time seeing me in a live cigar show, um, I know how hard it is to kind of sit here and listen to me babble. Uh, saying the same things that the cigar is really nice that it's doing this it's doing that kind of talking a little bit to the chat I don't ever expect anybody to dedicate like right now. It's 48 minutes and 13 seconds um, I never expect anybody to dedicate 48 minutes and now 18 seconds to me Continuously, you know if you want to if you enjoy the show and you enjoy just chilling out and watching I I, I, I love having you here um but I, I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, it's just dragging. Like, all right, Sean, you know, you, you've said your piece. The cigar is great. Shut up. Let's go home. Shut it down. Shut off the lights. We're going home. Um, but uh, I, I, I really enjoy talking, catching up with the chat, smoking a cigar, giving my points here and there, seeing how it reacts. And about at this point in time, if it hasn't really changed much, it's, it's not going to change much. Now, if it does, um, shame on me. Uh, for ending it sooner than that. But I mean, for the most part, if anybody has any questions, you can always ask questions down in the comment section as well. Um, but I, I never want to waste anybody's, you know, not waste, but I never want to make anybody stay on something for too long, especially since it's kind of just the same thing. But we're, we, I love doing this because I love catching up with the chat. I love talking. I love talking to people and seeing new people and, and catching up with everybody and seeing how everybody's weeks are doing. So the lives will still be happening. It's just, they might not go for an hour or an hour and 40 minutes. Like the last, ooh, excuse me, like the last one did with protocol cigars. So, uh, but I'm going to finish this bad boy up. Um, I just want to say to everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, 
I just, I really appreciate everything that you guys do. I appreciate when everybody comes out and chills out with me and asks questions. And um, I was glad that I was able to share my good news with all of you uh, from the weekend about me getting engaged. Um, so I'm going to be going and getting out of here for the night. I'm going to finish this up and enjoy the rest of my night by getting myself ready for work tomorrow. And I will catch all of you on the next live, which is next Wednesday. And like I said, I'll give you a real quick rundown. So Mondays are going to be a mini cigar review series, which is like a 15 to 20 minute video of me smoking a cigar. Wednesdays are the live cigar review like we have tonight. Friday mornings between 8 and 9 is going to be morning cigar talks. And then later in the day, probably around 3.30 or 5 o'clock, is going to be back to the basics with cigars as well. So uh, right now, that is going to be the schedule for that um, and like I said, I mean, the, the AVO cigar is an absolute beautiful, beautiful cigar. Um, I highly recommend you wind up putting one of these in your humidor and giving it a try. Uh, it's a very, very clean cigar. It's an easygoing cigar. It, for me, this would definitely be more along the lines of a breakfast cigar, um, just to start your day off with and not have too much, you know, really in your face and on your tongue with, when it comes to heat and spice. But it's, it's a beautiful cigar. The construction is absolutely great. It's perfect. And I, I absolutely think that this is a winner when it comes to cigars. So, If you get the chance, check out the AVO uh, Classic Number 2. And that's, that's the show tonight, everybody. I, I want to thank everybody for coming out and checking out with us. Um, I want to thank Peace, Love, and Guns for being here, Terry Monroe, Ted, Eric, um, all of my Facebook users. And this is a real quick little tip as well. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm going to bring this up, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. But for me, on here it says Facebook user, and I don't know if you guys can see that or not or if it comes up with a name if you're watching it on Facebook. But for me, it says Facebook user. Um, so if you... If you click on the link for StreamYard, it'll register your name from either YouTube or Facebook. Um, and then I won't have to say like, oh, checking in, I have somebody saying I always tune in when I can. Um, I'll know who you are. So just click on that link from StreamYard when I post a video. Um, and it'll basically just give you like a little quick thing about, you know, hey, are you okay if we wind up using your profile name, whether it be on YouTube or on Facebook? And then you just say, I'm okay with it. I don't care. I already, everybody knows who I am. And then when you click that, it'll bring you up and say, okay, now it's, you know, whoever from whatever is going to be sending you a comment. So just keep that in mind as well. Cause I always feel, uh, I always feel like rude if I just say like, Oh, somebody checking in saying most comments are Scott Seely. Um, now, when Scott said that he just got married last month, I kind of deduced that it was from Scott because I remember seeing his wedding photos, but I never want to be rude and, and not know. So just make sure you click on that link so that way I can see who you guys are and I give you proper credit for asking the question as well. So, but other than that, everybody from the smoking section, I'm Sean. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank J Train, Mr. Johnny Smokes for dropping in and just saying, hey, real quick, he's a busy, busy man. So I wanted to just stop in. And I'm just so glad that he was able to. Um, I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. And I will catch you guys next week, next Wednesday, where you guys will be picking the cigar. So be in, in, in line for that. Be ready for that. And make sure you vote. Uh, you can't complain if you don't vote, is what my father always told me. So make sure you vote uh, on the cigars that I wind up picking for that. So as always, everybody. Oh, and there's, there's John Reamer now checking in with the choo-choo. So... Johnny, thank you so much for stopping in, brother. I appreciate it. I, I, I can't thank you enough for, for supporting and coming out here and checking us out. And uh, I miss you, dude. It's, it's weird not having you here in the smoking section with me. It's trying to keep up with a conversation with myself is a lot harder than trying to talk with you guys. It was great having you in here. So, um, you know what? Maybe, maybe we'll have Johnny Smokes come in here. Just Johnny Smokes himself. After he does this drop of the J train. Uh, I'm going to grab a pack of the J train. If I can, I hope I get there early enough that I can grab one. And then maybe me and Johnny smokes can, uh, do a live cigar review 
doing the J train and we can introduce that to everybody. So I'll have to get in, in touch with Johnny smokes and see what we can do. But, um, from the smoking section, everybody, I'm Sean. As always, I hope you all have a great rest of the week, and I will catch you guys next time. Make sure you look for the videos dropping this Friday, and I will catch you guys next Wednesday, hopefully same time, same place. As always, everybody, stay blessed, stay smoking, and I will catch you guys later. From the smoking section, I'm Sean. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Good night.